So I have overlooked an opportunity, a lucrative opportunity, investment opportunity for you. Over the past 10 years in UK, the burial pots have passed a percentage of one, three to one. And they have private setups everywhere all over the place. They start about 3,900 pounds. That's a big achievement for one-fourth of a growth. And the biggest advantage is to continue empowering that. Now, really, there's an opportunity in a company that is offering investments, but my company is really different. I'm a builder and an architect. In the past year and a half, I've been looking at how things shape and change and how things look different. In the summer, I went to an exhibit and it was called Death of Venice. Now, talking about death is hard for people to talk about. But it was designed to become and to make more playful and fun. Now, they have a map of London with real estate that's giving off of people who died all over the map. And it surely shows that um, the white shapes are hospitals, um, cemeteries, funeral homes. The most they show that the people died and they're buried. Something to think about. But it's really important in our cities because a half a million people die in the UK every year. One fourth one to be buried every year. But the space that there's no more room. And they've, they've known this for a long time. But there's a huge growth, and this burial area is very close to being full. Now, they say that it should be a burial that should be forever, but like, say, you want to build for people that want to build a house or a home or something. And maybe it'll be a um, give a few, but in, in a few years maybe they can use it over again. But there's, you know, maybe they can bury four to five people in the same spot. Or again in 50 years. But the surprising thing is there's no responsibility or liability for that part to take care of. And it's completely, completely taken over by churches and temples, and but it's there's really a um, anti-profit group, non-profit group for non-profit group, and the money that costs is surely that's money to be made. If you want to go there and make your own burial cemetery, you can. There's two people over in Venice, and they have this large area. They have a huge farmhouse and a lot of land and they have this idea and the first one was to build a caravan park but the council said no and they wanted a fish farm but the council said no so now they have the idea of building a cemetery there to increase to one million dollars million pounds but if we back up a little bit that idea of making profit from from the land and cemeteries, that's kind of lucrative, right? But actually, the cost of it, of the burial plants, is really kind of um, big. And there, there's something that needs, someone needs to be keeping care of it. And it's hard to make money off of the land and the cemetery. But anyway, the council approves you to now have people want to build on a cemetery land. So let me explain how this works. If I want to build something like in UK, you need to apply for it, like a building permit. For the client or like build something like a house or an office, like I want to change my office house to an office, then there's 
there's a lot of drawings that I need to do and submit to them. And then the council will look at it and see if it fits how and what it looks like. And see if it impacts the environment. Like the cost or pollution or is there going to be a lot of traffic that goes to the buildings that I... And is it going to add a lot of businesses? Like shops or a variety of places. And they'll weigh it out. And look at the advantages and the disadvantages. Now if I want to work and I have a large burial area and I only want to build like a few people like five or six people then I don't have to ask anyone I can just do it and that's actually not a lot there's not a lot of rules but they'll ask you you know make sure that you don't pollute the water and the land but really whose estate is that but if you're rich, you have a rich family, then you'll have a burial place, like a coliseum house for your family. You can bury your family there, but you don't really need to. It's not exactly the place for the dead that you want to put them there. People but need to apply that if you have a garden in your backyard. Maybe you want to try that yourself. There's a lot of websites that can help you. First, they'll tell you that you need to get a certificate for burial. You can't just murder someone and bury them under the patio. Also, they'll tell you that you have to um, keep a record of where people were buried. And they'll warn you that your neighbor may not like that, but there's nothing they can do. They can't do anything. It's the law. It says, but if you choose to, you know, not know how much or want to make a certain amount of money that they will warn you that your house price will drop a lot and no one will want to buy your house. But equally... Someone may be scared of how to make money, about 70%. You know, people that are older than 75, about 40%. Other people talk about this. They don't think about when they die in the future, or how soon. Or people not wanting to talk about that. Or people that take care of it for us. People that talk about the government talk about or funeral directors they set up but what happens when our cities are less drawings than they thought well can you even imagine that about but all the people are thinking and talking about that they're not talking about thinking about that they're not the same as us thank you